Wow, here I am back with another video. And uh, surprisingly, it's not about the Hobonichi. Oh my god. Um, actually, it's about art supplies, which is something I've been collecting far longer than I have been collecting Hobonichi stuff. And um, in this video, we're talking about the Golden Open Acrylics. I'm sorry, Golden Open Slow Drying Acrylics. Um, so acrylic paints are basically like liquid plastic. And um, when you're using them as a paint, they the tendency of the original ones is to, they do dry quickly. Um, there are slower drying alternatives like oil paints. However, um, some of the materials that you need to use with them, like the, the cleaning, the cleaning materials are, are solvents and they have fumes. So that might make people sick. And so that's why you'd want to, you maybe you'd want to um, use acrylics um, to get your paintings in if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff. And so um, Golden has uh, developed this product that is an acrylic that dries much slower and you get this cool open thinner. Um, you could also, you, you could have bought before other stuff to mix into your paint to make it last longer. Um, but this is just, it's just a paint now is a new formula, I guess, a different type of formula that allows for that to happen. So we have um, this really cool guide that comes with the paints. And it tells you, um, it shows you all these colors that you can make with just the eight colors that come in the pack. And uh, you'll see up there's like one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight refers to the color, not not an amount. <laughs> and um, so you'll see like over here at the, at the end over here, like where it says like five, four, eight in the corner. Like number five is like the blue is number five. So then, like those three bars are like approximately how much um, in comparison to each other you'd want to use to make that color. Um, but you'll see here I'm not even looking at that to make any colors. <laughs> um, I'm just uh, going about my merry way to um, mix the colors. Because right now I just want to see. I want to know. I want to feel here and uh, observe how the colors are mixing with each other. How the paint mixes with, with the uh, with each other with itself with each other <laughs> how the different colors of paint mix so um, this is, I've got the uh, let me take a look here what color is this it's probably phthalo blue and phthalo green and I'm um, seeing how they mix together um, yeah and uh, you see like they it makes that like delicious teal so good um, yeah So here I've gone ahead and I've swatched. I've, apparently I made a gray, which is cool. Because um, <laughs> gray is a cool color. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so I've made a, a gray color. And um, you'll see what I do next. Is I'm, what I'm trying to do here is compare what the paint, how the paint reacts to the thinner that comes with it, the open thinner right here. And also later on how it's going to react with just water. Um, to thin it down. Yeah, so you see here, it, it pretty much um, allows you to make a glaze, right? So it's just like a, it's like a really thin layer of color with like an even consistency, which is which is uh, something that oil paints are like really great to do with the oil paints. So then here, I'm, I'm trying to clean my brush over here. So now I'm just having Adding, 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 adding water to the paint, and you'll see it just it does something completely different. Um, the color doesn't spread evenly; it just it just goes to where the water is, much like watercolor. And uh, and you know that might be a strategy you use when you make your paintings. You know, like not you know nothing you know nothing in you don't always have to be have to use the uh, the paints as you can you know that's kind of what art is about right you can just kind of you kind of want to do this type of experimentation to see how how the paint works and how it, how it reacts to what you might what you might want to do and like maybe you want that watercolor effect you know like like oftentimes if I'm working in in watercolors on paper if I know that I don't want the background to change I'll, I might go into my acrylics and do a wash in acrylic the background doesn't change gosh darn it email 
Of course, it's a craft store email update letting me know stuff is on sale. And I'm like, I can't, but I will, but I can't, but I'm gonna. Uh. So I've moved on to trying to uh, blend, um, blend colors now um, in bigger, bigger swatches. Um, so here's that cool gray I made again. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to see how it behaves here. And I don't, I don't believe that um, they were trying to recreate uh, oil paints in acrylics uh, because this looks very different from from oils. Like oils are much thicker, um, the consistency of the paint is much thicker, and this is going on pretty thin. And I mean, the I think their main goal was to slow down the drying. Of the paint and um, if it has to be quote unquote watery like this is like pretty thin well that's okay because they're trying to trying to have it um, the goal was to have it be reworkable um, but also uh, work well as a as a paint and so here I think is where something magical is gonna happen yeah so I've added some uh, opaque I'm sorry not opaque it's a it is an opaque white. It is titanium white because there are like a bajillion different white paints. Um, but this is the one that comes with the set. It's a titanium white. And you look in here, it's like super creamy. You know, this is what I think oils look like. So I feel like there's lots of potential to go like full Baroque if you really want to. Okay, so here I'm trying to see. All right, so I added my, my opaque white. What is that going to do? the paint yeah and it kind of it kind of does the glazing effect but now it has this like now i feel like um it's like this weird like jelly donut type of glazing versus like uh, the glazing i was talking about before <laughs> but maybe you want maybe you will paint jelly donuts and you want that kind of like translucent like sugary coating feeling maybe you will want that on your painting of your donut um, yeah so yeah so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let this uh, experimentation finish and so please like and describe uh, subscribe like and describe I'm gonna leave it like and describe but uh only if you really want to so yeah peace out Blue donuts might be real interesting. You could like decorate them with stars or make them like underwater theme. Maybe you could have like a half person, half fish fairy tale. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>